what's going on guys midwest tour review here back again um i don't know this is not really a tool video so if you don't want to spend a few minutes with me you may want to just go ahead and drop off now otherwise uh, i ain't doing very much of anything really um, i did pick up this little cheap toolbox today um it's nothing spectacular just uh thin metal you know and it's a um, three drawer, really rusty, really crusty, but I'm going to, I paid five bucks for it, it says 750. Uh, gave the guy five bucks for it. I'm gonna ding out some of the dents on it because you can tell that it's been rode pretty hard. Um, I think I'm going to paint it black and uh, make it look similar to my, um, big box my roller box over there uh, i finally got the truck cleaned up that's been like forever um, got that all cleaned up and looking nice um, had a uh, stuck caliper on this side and for some reason the brake, brake pads wore down all the way on that side and didn't wear on anywhere on this side so i had to Tear the calipers apart, service the calipers, get them lubricated, cleaned up, um, and then re-lubricated and rebuilt. So it seems like today there's no big issues with it. And um, there's not a lot of brake dust build up on the wheels. So I know that that's um, working out pretty good. Uh, the Volvo, we don't drive it, but we're gonna go ahead and pull the transmission on that this summer. Uh, me and the wife are gonna go ahead and put the new one in we've already scoped out the, the new tr or the replacement or refurbished rather um, transmission we're gonna put that in there we took this down to uh, Gatlinburg Tennessee and uh, it did good all the way there and going through the switchbacks and whatnot was a little bit more than this uh, 2005 XC90 could, would stand but the engine's still good and we just need to redo the transmission then there's the Weiss hybrid back there it's my neighborhood I thought I got to show you guys kind of like where I be where I live um, this is the community that I live in pretty quiet pretty tranquil um, here in Fort Wayne Indiana not real bad I'm trying to get the garage cleaned up this is my shop it's pretty messy. I'm not going to show you guys everything because uh, it's pretty messy. I got a lot of projects going on, but I don't think you guys have ever seen my garage this way. So if you're still watching, then you get a little bit of a treat. Had a garage sale, so that's why I got all that crap down there. That's all going to go to the Goodwill probably tonight. Um, I don't know about these, these dishes, though. These dishes are pretty cool. They've got what I believe to be Chinese or Japanese writing on them. They're pretty cool. We may keep those. I think the wife may want to keep those. Um, other than that, uh, I've got paint and stuff everywhere and a bunch of crap on the other side over there, but you guys are not going to see all that. Going to load up the truck and take it to the dump after I get done dropping off the good stuff at the Goodwill. Um, hmm. I got a lot of projects, you know, like I said, stuff that I'm currently filming, uh, rebuilding a pist or, uh, pistol drill. You guys will get to see that here pretty soon. Doing all the editing. First attempts to ed editing with the wife's help, working out pretty good. So teardown has been filmed and all of that good stuff. So you guys get to see that video. Um, now that I have editing software that even I can understand, um, we're going to go ahead and get these worked up. These are my Pexto 500-6 Lyman's pliers. I am excited about these for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I, I really don't know why. I believe Pexco or Pexto was eventually purchased through Snap-on and one of the acquisitions. I wrote it all down so I can sound like I know what I'm talking about when I do record this video. Um, but you guys will get to see that. And I got a bunch of other pliers and things of that nature in there got a new tool bag or uh everyday carry tool bag just you know standard oh almost fell over now that i have a proper three or three-eighths drive impact i can put my quarter inch pack 
port of cable in here. This thing, I tell you guys, I don't care what you say, for an impact and a quarter inch drive system, this sucker has survived. Even the light still works on there. Um, and this is probably, I broke that, but this is probably about five, four or five years. No, not, not that long. Maybe three years old now. And uh, I dropped it and everything else, and it still works really good. And I got the drill as well. But I've got, you know, my regular EDC bag, you know, um, ratchets, just cheap ratchets. Um, this is one of my favorite ratchets here for being a cheap ratchet. The Crescent ratchet is pretty good. You know, cutters, side cutters, and um, clines and things of that nature. Um, old screwdrivers. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what else can I show you guys about my life? Um, like I said, everything's kind of in shambles. Kind of doing projects by projects. Um, that's all a mess. I've got some new equipment coming in the next couple of days. Believe it or not, I got another toolbox coming. I uh, bought a toolbox from a guy at work. That should be here probably next week. He's just a regular craftsman, but it is like a six or seven drawer craftsman. And it should probably fill in that gap there. But it'll be another way, um, or excuse rather, <laughs> for me to buy more tools or try to at least get some of the stuff that's out of here into that box. So um, let me go ahead and remove that mail so my address isn't out there. Well, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is my toolbox as it is. I won't show you guys. That's me and my wife there when we were that's almost 16 years ago um so yeah this is pretty much it i don't really have a whole lot of new stuff um you guys have seen all the ratchets you guys have seen all the stuff in the, the money drawer here i don't think there's anything new um let me see here i've got some stuff down there but i'm not gonna dig through it i gotta finally got a uh Rethreader, or is it rethreader? Um, yeah, rethreading kit. I finally got one of those. Um, I picked that up from a pawn shop, and I've never done a video on it, but I did get that. And um, maybe I'll show you guys one day. I think I paid like fifteen dollars for it, something around there, fifteen or nineteen bucks for it. But it's it seems it's OEM brand, so I guess it's pretty decent. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm seven minutes in, just kind of chilling with you guys you know kind of showing you the world that i live in uh in my messy workshop um but yeah i you see i got stuff going on always and you know he's either working on vehicles or uh doing something around the house supposed to put a new toilet in for the wife and a new uh sink or faucet that'll go in tomorrow probably because it ain't going in today I got to make sure she gets to bed on time. So other than that, guys, um, just a simple video. So uh, like it if you like it. Don't like it if you don't. Leave me a comment, you know, and uh, I'll catch you guys on another one. All right. Peace.